All right, and we're live. We're live. We're live. What's happening, folks? I know it's been a little while, but uh, I know it's been a while, but let's jump into it like it hasn't been a while. You know what I'm saying? We'll just jump right back into it. Try to, anyway. So, um, yeah, I think everything's working here. Everything's good. I know it's been a while here. I'm trying to get my uh, get my bearings down again. How's everybody doing? Nashia, Silver Chariot, Matias, Lane, JSA Drawing. What's happening, everybody? What's happening, folks? Pusheen. All right. Let's, uh, let's do the drawing first, and then I'll pick three random colors. So this is the exciting thing today here, folks. Three, I'm only going to use three random colors chosen randomly not by me chosen by the internet so uh, uh, anyway let's look at the reference real quick folks um, so something different today I thought this was a pretty cool photo I found online so uh, it has some interesting color harmony definitely some warms and cools going on so I don't know I thought it'd be cool to kind of change up the colors a bit and try to get this light effect going across the middle there uh, I don't know. We'll see what I can do. We'll try to keep this one loose as always. I think I need to bump up the light here. Yeah, I'm gonna try to. I'll try to keep this one loose because it, it's, you know, it's a complicated scene. But I don't want it. I don't want it to be. Right. We want to keep this easy, simple. So here's this little tent thing, and then it goes back. Like this, we got a lot of perspective here. A lot of perspective here, and this is all this is all shadow, all right? Hmm. Standing up by these poles here. Stand here. Just trying to make sure I get the proportions as correctly as I can for this thing. Sorry if the drawing is a little bit light, folks. I know it's always hard to see it at the, in the beginning, but you know, just try to do it, try to do something quick here so we can get right into the painting, not waste any time. You know, there are some figures in this painting. Um, Luckily, they're kind of fully clothed, and, and I don't have to worry too much about, you know, creating a human figure that much. You know, it's kind of just, as long as I get the basics of... Basic shape here, I think I'll be in good shape. So we got some nice shadowing going on. That's gonna be important, these shadows. Got some long shadows here. Uh, also underneath. Brick attacked, what's happening? Uh, Matias, what's going on? Experimental mode, yes I am. Today is experimental mode, we're back at it. Enrique, what's happening? Pusheen, uh, Pusheen says, your drawings are so beautiful. I'm sure you'll do good. I appreciate the positivity. I, I'm hoping for that as well. I'm hoping it can go well. As he says, so happy to finally see you, Brandon. Thanks, I appreciate that. Glad to see everybody here as well, too. Glad to see everybody back. Watercolor is hard. Yes, it is. It's definitely hard. But we're going to act like it's not hard. We will act like it's not hard. You know what I mean? Let's try to keep it keep it simple. I mean, drawing's hard too. So the part I'm doing here, you know, I'm just trying to. I almost want to just do one figure, but I've already kind of put this figure in the wrong spot, but uh, and made them kind of large. But let's roll with it. You know what I mean? Let's just roll with it. What are you gonna do, right? We'll just. 
Try to stay positive here. Like I said, we're just gonna keep it simple. Maybe it won't be the greatest painting ever, but I'll try. We shall try. What's going on, Philip? Deborah, what's happening? Candy Williams? Yeah, glad to see everybody back. Look at that, we got 31 people joined. We got the we got the regular crew in here. All right, cool. Glad to see everybody still doing well, still healthy and all that, and uh, living life. So I'm just trying to take note of like the shadows and stuff here. We got some shadows. There's actually a third figure in this, but oh, I'm kind of I'm kind of worried. I'm kind of worried about putting in a third figure here. I know it kind of sucks to only have two. But maybe that's the experimental part of this. Maybe we have two figures. And we try to make it try to make that work or something. I mean, this may be a complete disaster. I mean, it's kind of I already got the proportions all weird. I'm already putting tires in the wrong place. I'm already messing everything up. So uh yeah, we're going to we'll see how this one turns out. I feel like I feel like this whole thing needs to shift over, but um, you know, what am I going to do? Yeah, the tire should be bigger, right? Maybe that's the problem. Let me make the tires a little bit bigger. Uh, those curves look just so wrong. They look so weird. I don't know what's going on here. Is Brandon European? Uh, I mean, I'm white. I mean, I, I came from Europe, my ancestors, but I live in, I'm in California. I'm European Caucasian, I guess. If you want to be technical. I don't know how technical of a question you're asking. Uh, but no, I live in America. America. Uh, so let's see the shadow. Comes down a bit more under here. Sorry, folks. Just trying to take my time here, trying to figure this out. Obviously, there's some. Obviously, it's a bit different than the photograph reference, but it's okay. As long as I can get it to look decent, and I don't think I. <laughs> I don't think I've done it. Let's uh, let's try to get this cart well first, and then let's put the figures in, right? I got ahead of myself. I got ahead of myself. So let's get the cart in here first. So we got all kinds of different little things happening. Woo! Boo, 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 boo. I'll do all that with paint. So the tires. So we have this thing here and this kind of coming up, this curve thing this part. We have this thing here. Right? Okay. So now let's try to get these tires in. It looks like this tire doesn't lines up with this pole. Okay. So the edge of that tire comes down. Like that. So that means right about there is the line of that. And this tire, same kind of a thing. So the edge lines up there, comes in just a little bit, comes out and down. Right there, and then the figure hits it right there. So 
So now I can kind of, now that I, th I think that looks good, let me try to get these tires kind of the same size. I think that looks good. I mean, it's not perfect, but good enough. How terrible were you when you were just starting out? Uh, you know, it's pretty bad. Pretty bad. But when I started out, I was drawing cartoons when I was a kid, so... Can't really expect a lot, you know what I mean? So this tire gets cut off about there as well. So like I said, we'll try to fit these figures in here. I think they're a bit smaller than I drew them, so let's try to be a little more careful here with these. Try to get the proportions, you know, human compared to this big cart. I don't know why I like this photo. It just seemed it seemed very different from anything I've ever done. Um, just seemed like an interesting subject, you know. And the figures are fully clothed, so it just seemed easier to would be easier to paint them in, hopefully. So I don't really have to worry about the figure so much. It's kind of... It's kind of just getting the shadows in the right spot, basically, and then should be fine. I don't know why this tire looks too low, too low. Yeah, this tire is actually supposed to be higher than the other tire. I don't know how that's possible, but some kind of perspective. Maybe it's turned slightly, even though it doesn't look like it. So this tire is just a little bit further away from us than the other one. I feel like I still drew the figure too big. I don't know. Maybe I didn't draw the cart big enough. Yeah, I think that's the problem. I didn't draw the cart like wide enough. But. Oh boy. This is what happens when you just sketch it quickly and, and you're not like, you're not going for like accurate proportions. You know, you're just kind of like, you know, the cart should really come out to here or something, but. At this point, you know, is it worth changing? Maybe. If I move it over, I gotta change everything again. Do I do it? How long have I been doing this? 15 minutes? All right. Just extend the sides out. Yeah, I wish it was that simple. Is it possible to grow to like drawing? I think so. I think, uh, I think it is. Um, you just have to find out, because I didn't really like the process of drawing either, to be honest. It's not my favorite thing. Um, but when you find something you really like to draw, like I really like to draw animals now, and I, I kind of like, just sketching, you know, I just like sketching animals, that's what I call it, because I don't even think mine are really like finished drawings or anything. I think then it becomes fun, you know, and, and I like doing pen and ink, and I'd really never have thought that I would like doing pen and ink. 
But once I tried it, I, I think it's just a matter of experimenting a bit and really trying new things that you may not have thought that you like. You know, that's my that's my thoughts on it. Sorry, folks, I'm a little rusty today. I'm just trying to figure everything out, you know. Um, I just want to make, I want this to be a good painting. I mean, obviously it's going to be very experimental because I'm only going to use three random colors, but, you know, I got to get the drawing. It's important to get the drawing right. You know, if I'm going to put these figures in here, I want them in the right spot and I want, I want it to look okay, you know. So I'm just trying to take my time here a bit. So just stay patient, folks, stay patient. Yeah, time definitely flies when drawing, but yeah. Start on the other person, maybe? Well, I think, I feel, I mean, I get your point. I probably should do that, but I think I got this more of how I wanted it to be now. It's supposed to be a little bit longer. I feel better. I'm gonna do just an overall quick block in of this person. And then, okay, so now, see now I have more space here. That's what I was kind of missing. I was missing that space and I kept wondering like, why is there not enough space? It's because the whole thing's not <laughs> the right height versus width. It's still a little bit off, but it's, it's good enough to where I feel okay. You know, I feel good about it. I think it's good. I think we're good. Okay, feeling good about this one now. Feeling pretty good about this one. I think this is a lot better. We'll just leave out that other figure probably. If I want to, I could paint him in maybe, but you know, just make her reaching for some kind of fruit or something, you know. Uh, if it even matters in the end. Background, I'm not going to be too concerned with that because you know, it's just the background. So we'll just have some colorful shapes, you know, that kind of give 
the appearance of these other places and things happening. Thanks, I appreciate it. My face looks different. I think it's because I shaved my beard actually a little bit. I kind of trimmed my face. <laughs> I think that's why I look different more. Uh, no, I'm just thinking, yeah. I mean, normally I don't take this long to like get into the painting, but like I said, I wanted to, I wanted this one to be good or try to make it as good as I can, you know? Uh, it's gonna be a challenge, but. I just gotta remember my focal point and why I'm doing this one, you know. No, I'm not really good at doing anatomy. Um, I haven't really, I haven't really studied it or anything before, you know. I kind of just, yeah, it's not, it's not really a um, interest of mine, I guess, or a focus. You know, every once in a while I'll get interested in it a little bit, but. Not really. It's not really a big interest of mine. Unfortunately. I mean, I'm sure my drawings and st figures and stuff would improve, but I'm not even really interested in figures or humans or stuff like that, you know? Um, this, this one I'm painting just happens to have that in there, but it's not something I normally do. That's why this, this painting's pretty different. Uh, well, hopefully it'll be Good. Hopefully it will come out well. Thanks, I'm doing well, I'm doing pretty well. Yeah, I agree, animal anatomy is definitely important. Um, but like I said, I don't really study it. I just kind of go with what I'm seeing, you know? I do try to keep some of it in mind sometimes. Like, okay, here's the shoulder part of this animal. And like, you know, I try to think about it, but I don't have a lot of knowledge in that area. All right, so we're going to get into the painting. I almost just started painting randomly, uh, like I normally would, but this is different. This is definitely different. Uh, let's see. There is some, like, fruit up here. I just want to remember to put some of this in when I go to paint it. But this is all going to be really... I, I don't know what kind of color scheme we're going to have here. I'm, we'll have to see when I, I have a random color picker picks these colors. Um, so there's all kinds of little objects and things here, but I'm not going to be too concerned with that stuff. Uh, what I do like, it's actually very subtle in the photo, but I kind of want to, I want to make it more strong. I like this, this, uh, this light effect coming across right here. Like this is in shadow and this is in shadow. So the light is coming down from this cart like this, and this is all in light right there. So if I can remember, this is all in shadow, and this is in shadow. That could be, that's a nice, nice bit of light there. Um, so I think this is good. This is good for now. Uh, 
going on Theo in Theo what's happening do you need to learn anatomy to do painting I don't think so I mean I've done plenty of paintings and I don't know anatomy so um, oh color picker okay so let's let's try this out folks let's see how this goes so we're gonna roll the dice here so I'll show you guys what I've set up so here's my palette that I have randomly I've randomly typed these out I have random numbers for each one so there's my palette okay and I'm gonna do we're gonna roll the dice and uh, randomly pick choose three numbers all right you guys ready for this so here we go, we're gonna roll. See if we can do this. And I'm gonna stop it randomly, so let's see, three, two, one. Okay, we got a seven. Okay, three, two, one, 11. Oh, this is gonna be interesting, okay, okay. And a two. Seven, 11, and two. So let's check out. 7, 11, and 2 on the palette. So we have cadmium red, alizarin cream. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> so we have like two reds kind of cadmium red, alizarin crimson, and Indian yellow. Oh boy. Wow, all warm colors. Oh no. I think I have no choice. I mean, I got to do it, right? Oh, man. Oh, boy. Please no politics in the chat, folks. Please no politics in the chat. Um... What do you guys what what do you guys think? Do I do I do a re roll for to get should I mean should it be that there needs to be one cool color? I mean what do you guys What do you guys think? Or do I just do I take it as a challenge and, and we we do <laughs> we literally do red, orange and and alizarin crimson which is like a magenta. Uh, yeah, Silver Chariot, I don't really care about who you wanted to win. Doesn't really, uh, I really don't care. How about that? How about, how about let's be real. I really don't care what you have to say about anything political. Um, throw out one red and pick a blue. See, I don't even want to really pick a blue. I want to pick another random color. Oh, gosh darn it, man. I really didn't. Hmm. I hate to, like, go. Like, I, I did the drawing thing to, like, sort of be random, and I hate to be like, oh, those three suck. Let's do it again. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, but, all right. All right, let's... I say we redo th all three because I don't want to just pick one color and be like, or like pick two colors and be like, oh, get rid of this one because they're all warm. So let's 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 try it again. So I guess that's one of the rules. Y you know, you want them to be. We'll have at least one warm, one cool. You know what I mean? So we'll roll it until we get one warm and one cool. I guess I make the rules right. So we got. Let's see. Boom. Two. Okay. Cadmium red again. So that's a warm. Four, I don't know what four is, but we'll see. Two, four, seven. Did we have seven last time? A loser and crimson again? What's four? Viridian? Okay, I can do that. Let's do that. Two, four, seven. There we go. All right. So we got cadmium red, viridian, and a loser and crimson. This could be cool. This could be cool, actually. So let's do that. We have one, that viridian is a cool color. So. This is going to be challenging, guys. This is going to be challenging. 
uh, we're gonna have an interesting we're gonna have an interesting color harmony I hope I've never really used only those kinds of colors before so so the colors are cadmium red viridian and alizarin crimson alizarin crimson is pretty similar to cadmium red but it is different we're gonna get different mixtures I think so um, yeah, I need to clean my palette here a bit, folks. But I'll show you guys my palette here. So we're going to be using this red, this red, and this green here, this, this Viridian. So I just need to clean up. I always keep my palette pretty dirty, and I want it to be pretty clean for this. You know, it doesn't have to be super clean, but we'll just get most of the dirty color off there so that it's not contaminating our mixtures that much. So, man, I can't believe we got two reds, you know, like that, but hey, that's part of the draw. I really didn't want to do the one with all warm colors. That was so, that's just, wouldn't be a good painting. You know, I, I am trying to create a good painting and I do want it to be interesting random colors. So I'm not against doing that, but you know, at the same time, we want it to be, we want it to be good. You know what I mean? So I broke the rules a little bit, but it is my channel, so I can do whatever I want. Does green and red even go well? Uh, I don't know. We're going to find out. I think it, I mean, I hope it does. The, the interesting thing is what's going to happen when we mix two of these colors together or three of them together you know i i don't really know about cadmium red and viridian i feel like we're going to get some browns and stuff to work with so this could be this could be very interesting you know pretty harmonious um yeah we're, i mean we'll find out we'll find out uh very soon here i'm just clean off this last little bit here and I think this will be enough for the painting if I need more I'll just clean it later but I think uh, I think we're gonna be pretty good there we go folks so we got some nice clean area to work with and uh, <laughs> oh man it's gonna be crazy all right Who is my favorite painter? Uh, John Singer Sargent. That's my favorite painter. He's dead. Um, well, all warm colors would make this challenge hard because, yeah, there'd be, like Lane said, there'd be no contrast. Um, everything would be red and orange. I mean, it would be very harmonious, but with this particular scene, I really wanted, I needed some, I needed a cool color in there. So like, you know, you see the, the tarp there, you know, on the top, the viridians and stuff. We can use viridian for the sky, viridian for this. It just, you know, we have more choices now. We have more a bit available because, you know, if we use that orange, Indian yellow, which is like an orange and cadmium red and alizarin, when you mix them together, you only get warm colors, you know, so. It was just a bit challenging, but now if I mix, let's see if I move this over, I'll try to show you guys some of the mixing here a little bit. It's kind of hard to show, but if I do Viridian, strictly Viridian green, you know, and now I have some, I can, I can do some cadmium red, a little bit of cadmium red into that and see what that does. You know, we get a dirtier green probably hard for you guys to see it but you know we get a slightly dirtier green probably the same kind of thing if we mix a lizard in there so you know it, it's interesting it's I, I wish we could have gotten a different well I, I'm gonna do this challenge again in the future so um, uh, I never said I didn't like Pakistan I don't know why you're uh, stop being a baby, dude. How about that?
There, I put you in timeout. Why do we have a bunch of babies in the chat? Ah, oh, you're so mean. Well, stop saying dumb stuff, and I'll stop. Uh, you'll stop getting put in timeout. All right. So, <laughs> what do I do for the sky, folks? I guess we just go with a very light viridian. I wonder what happens if I mix a lizard into that a little bit. I guess it just goes red. We do get a gray. That's pretty nice. Maybe like a grayish viridian for the sky. Let's try it out. Oh, let's try it out. Let's try it out. <laughs> oh man, this is gonna be crazy. This is crazy. I, I hope we can get an interesting color scheme though. You know, this is something I would never paint. Like I would never do this. And that's why kind of wanted to do this challenge because it's something I would never do. And it's going to be interesting to see how these colors kind of mix together. Usually that alizarin and crimson kind of mixes weirdly with, with colors. You get like this separation and stuff. It's very interesting. Uh. I wish you guys could really see the saturation of this. It's like a green sky. Oh, it's kind of bizarre, but you know, what other color am I going to use? Red or pink or something? You know, like I, I don't really know what else to do. <laughs> this is crazy. Would have been cool if I got RGB. Yeah, I mean, I think I would have redrawn if I got red. Oh, red, green, blue. Red, green, blue. Yeah, that would have been interesting, actually. Red, green, blue. I'll have to do that one time. So it looks weird right now, but I think the more we put in, I think we can make this look cool, hopefully. Um, let's see. So the ground is warm, so I want the light to look warm. So we'll use like, you know, we're going to use red and stuff for that. I mean, this is pretty much just like a two color kind of painting because there's not much difference between this cadmium red and alizarin crimson. I mean, you can slightly get different mixtures. Oh yeah, I'm getting like a nice brown here. So this is cool. So let's try this on the ground. See what this does. Like a nice reddish brown. So this part's gonna be dark over here, so I'll just do Yeah, we'll just do a wash right now, like some brownish warms. Man, this is going to be an ugly color scheme. <laughs> Hopefully, we can we can make this look good. I th I believe in myself. I believe we can do this. We got this. We got this. Right. promise I'm only using those th three colors. I'm sure you guys will be able to tell, that's for sure. So I'm just doing work, working on a warm wash right now for the ground. I don't really know how to go about this painting, to be honest. I'm just kind of winging it, basically. Completely winging it. 
but I do that from time to time and it comes out okay so we're working on some light washes right now that's all nothing too crazy and we can do some cooler see the reason I did the sky kind of gray because I, I wanted the wash it's probably too dark but maybe not maybe not yeah, I wanted some cooler washes back here for the tarps and stuff. Yeah, I, de I definitely want to do this experiment again. Like, we'll do some different colors and stuff. Like, I mean, some of my best paintings were those two color experiments I did, like yellow ochre and ultramarine, ultramarine violet deep, like basically yellow and purple. That was a really cool one. And then I did the cobalt teal with the alizarin crimson. That was a really cool one too, you know. Both of those paintings sold very quickly, actually. So I don't know about I don't know if this one's gonna sell, <laughs> but definitely gonna get some interesting. Uh, Try to get an interesting harmony going here. Let's grave that down as it goes down. We'll add some cadmium red. Just gray that mixture down there. So you see, you can get some nice, interesting uh, color mixes and stuff. No doubt. <laughs> I gotta stop myself from I almost touched like transparent red oxide, like I want to like go into some other colors. I actually know some other color mixtures I want to try specifically. So I may do some of those in the future. Like I want to do like transparent red oxide, which is like a brown viridian and yellow ochre. I think that'd be a really beautiful harmony. I've seen paintings done with that kind of harmony. So I think that would be pretty cool to try. I've never really tried that one before. Looks very depressing. <laughs> yeah, it kind of does. I think once I add in the, I'm going to add in some pure red in there. I think it'll really kind of, uh, hopefully make it look cool. But like I said, I mean, this is very, this is very beginning. So we'll see if, If there's something we can do with this one. Just using pure viridian right now. <laughs> it gets, it's very crumbly and granulating and stuff. So you get all these little interesting things happening. Yeah, I think the sky, the sky makes it look really depressing, but we'll just, we'll keep it, just keep going, you know, there's nothing we can do right now, we'll just keep going. If it looks depressing, then we've learned something, you know, I think even if it comes out to be a bad painting, it's interesting to learn what kind of different color harmonies, how they make you feel, what the reaction is, you know, the kind of mixtures you can create. You know, this this painting alone is gonna help me for all my future paintings because then I'll know if I need any of these colors in future paintings, these mixtures, I know exactly how to mix them. You know, I know how cadmium red and, and viridian are gonna react and stuff like that. So it's kind of a cool way to get to know your palette in a way and get to know certain colors. Okay, I know how to get a very dark color. So that's good, that's good to know. gonna need that later but for right now we can put in some warm thunder here and we'll go darker with it later I 
But if nothing else, I mean, if this ends up being a crappy painting, then, you know, like I said, it's just a learning experience, a learning process, something different, something step out outside of the, you know, instead of just doing the same thing all the time. Plus, it's exciting. It's exciting for me. It's exciting for you guys, hopefully, to see, like, you know, what what can I do with these mixtures? What can I do with this painting? Uh, how can I kind of try to solve some problems? And, you know, hopefully it's educational, entertaining, something. You know, I don't know. Shadow under this one back here. And there's actually get some pure viridian going again. It looks like a looks like a, a, a Triforce Hero. What's going on? Glad to see you back. Um, Okay, uh, where do we go now, folks? Where do we go now? Probably in the garbage can is where this goes. Um, <laughs> no, not yet, not yet, not yet. We keep going. I think I should have went cooler back here still. Should have just went, block this whole thing in. Just block all this in. It's just shapes, it's the background. Don't need to worry about it. Um, not worry about it right now anyway. So now we need to tackle this cart. So the light streaming across here that I want to capture, what is that going to be? I think we want it, I want it to be warm and then the shadow area is to be cooler. So since I don't really have a lot of different color choices, um, I'm going to try, what I'm trying to do with this painting, hopefully, I'm trying to do warm versus cool a lot. So, yeah, and this one's definitely about values as well. Good point, uh, Nathan. Yeah, definitely about value. I mean, but also warm and cool. You know, I'm trying to balance these warm and cools. The sky, with it being so gray, I mean, it, it's going to look like a cloudy day or something. But, uh, you know, if I can get these shadows to come out. You know, really, we only have two values down so far. So we have some light, and we have a little bit of darker light. Um so there's still a lot more room for more values, hopefully. I didn't even really see how dark I could go. I know I can mix a dark color with Viridian and Alizarin, a little bit of cadmium red, but you know, we'll see what uh see what happens here. Uh where do I go from here? Where do we go? I think okay, the cart. So it's interesting there's a lot of warm fruit here, but I'm afraid I don't want to make it too warm because it's in the shadows. So, I'm going to have to be careful with that. So, I'm going to go with cadmium red, pretty watered down, and I want to just suggest some something here. I don't know, something on this cart. Uh, there's obviously some red stuff down here. But I'm not really trying to focus on the details or anything. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, uh, Okay, here we go. I 
I have no idea what I'm doing, folks. Just so you, just in case you didn't know, I have no idea what I'm doing. It's weird how a very light cadmium red looks gray. It's very interesting. I'm learning a lot of things here. Definitely learning a lot of things. <coughs> I need some water. I don't have any. <clears throat> I have an itch in my throat. So I'm trying to, I'm testing the light versus shadow here. Uh, I'm trying to see like, okay, what do I, do I make the shadows warm? Or should I go with, should I go with Viridian in the shadows? Make it cooler. Or a little bit of both like that. You know, I don't, I don't know. This one, this one's interesting. This one's interesting. Hey buddy, what you doing? Could use a little bit of alizarin. Maybe I should use alizarin here. That's the cooler red. So I should use cool... I forgot about alizarin on the palette. So I should use alizarin with viridian. <coughs> For this part. So we get a cooler. Probably doesn't look that much different, but it's actually much cooler. Gosh darn it, I wish I would have realized that. There we go, I can still put some of that Viridian in there, or uh, Alizarin in there. Like all that fruit up there, I don't know how to. I don't. I don't really know. I just do like a stronger lizard, maybe, maybe a little bit of cadmium red or something. Uh, you know, I, I don't know. I'm not really, really sure what to do here. I'm just afraid of it getting too warm, like that. Maybe I put a little bit of Viridian in that. It's got to be orange. Well, how am I going to mix orange when I have red, 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 and green? <laughs> you know. Yeah, I think I really have to focus on the values here and then the color temperature. And I think now that I remembered that I have that ver that alizarin to use, I can get some pretty unique color changes and stuff. Yeah, I can almost get like a purple with the Viridian, so. 
Take it easy, JSA Drawing. Thanks for tuning in. Yeah, that's a good point, Nathan. The Viridian and Lizard will essentially give you a cool black, which would be nice. Yeah, I agree. I think it probably will. Um, okay. Making progress. Sorry about that. Uh, starting to get a little bit darker here. Um, I know I want to do, yeah, I do need a cool dark because I want cool shadows on the ground. I think I'm going to put those in now because I don't really see why not to put those in. So I'm debating on how to do these tires. I think I need to do like opaque red on top of them. You know, I, I really don't see any other way to do it. So I think I just go over it and then I just, I'll do the brighter red right on top. Oops, didn't mean to get that messy about it. That's okay. Man, Viridian is such a weird color. It just kind of crumbles. going to be shadows from these figures here, so I'm just going to put them in. Figure the rest out later. I'll just put it in for now. So now we're starting to get a light effect. You guys see what I mean? So at the beginning, you know, it looks a little crazy, but you just gotta stay patient and uh, push through. Because you haven't, I haven't hit the whole value range yet. I haven't even got all the different kinds of colors and stuff I'm gonna use either. So it's one of those, it's one of those things where you just gotta be Patient a bit and persistent, you know, just kind of Kind of, this doesn't really line up as well as I th wanted it to, but that's okay. It'll, it still reads correctly, it reads all right. Although actually in the photo, it doesn't line up either. It's actually not supposed to line up, but. Oh well. <laughs> yep, the start is always the ugly phase, the ugly stage. Mm. 
Do you have to push yourself on something you don't like just because it's hard? Uh, no. But usually people don't like something because it's incomplete. And they think they can't fix it. I'm going to use bright red for the wheels. Well, you're right. It's going to be maybe a little in shadow. So, yeah. Um, I'll put a little bit of Viridian in there maybe. But, um, yeah. I don't really have a dark orange or anything I can use. I only have red for... I only have cadmium red, luzerne crimson, and viridian. So we're getting somewhere. I kind of lost the wheels, so... All that drawing I did at the beginning just got ruined. So now I'm going to have to put those in myself with paint. So... Oh, boy. Yeah, I don't know if, if anybody tuned in, you know, uh, and missed what I was doing earlier. So I rolled some dice and we got two, four, seven. So that's the colors, only colors I can use. Two, four, and seven. Cadmium red, viridian, alizarin, crimson. So that's kind of the challenge I'm doing right now. So it's the only colors I'm using for this thing. Um, so far I've only used this brush as well. So, But that's always just something I do. All right, let's do. Let's block in the figures because I feel like that's the last little part I have to block in, and then we we'll get a, a better read on this whole painting. Uh, it looks like we have one cool figure and one warm figure, so that's good. That's that's good. I think I can pretty much exactly mix up the colors almost for these figures. Uh, obviously, we want to water this down, get it very light for the light areas. We'll come back with another layer to do these shadow cooler shadow areas. And then I know you love the one brush, Lane. I know that. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Don't worry, I'll use another one soon. It's just when I'm in this blocking in phase, like I keep using the same one. But um, thanks, the real Andre. Appreciate that. Uh, glad to see you here. So now for this other figure, I'm going to mix uh, basically alizarin crimson with a little bit of viridian. I can kind of almost, I can almost get that exact kind of purpley, reddish color. Yeah, may not look like it, but it's pretty close. It's pretty darn close. So, like I said, we'll just I'm doing another light layer here. So this is just light part no shadow or anything we're just painting a wash of light so we'll keep a very light value but there we go got everything blocked in you know there's some fruit here that I missed but I'll do that with a smaller brush believe it or not <laughs> but we can see I got you know I got a little bit of a light effect here on the ground over here this needs to be in shadow so we'll do another layer on that, and we'll hit the wheels and everything. You know, we're, we're getting there. We're getting there, folks. We're getting there, slowly but surely. If I want to, I can go a little bit darker and make, like, a little texture for the cart. Um, I may do that, uh, something like that. But Oh, I'm, gonna, I'm definitely going to add some opaque color, too. Yeah, no doubt. No doubt. Uh... Are you going to allow yourself to add those colors in gouache too? No, I don't. I don't even know if I have those colors in gouache. To be honest, I think all I have is viridian in gouache. But uh, no, I'm just going to do watercolor. I think. That's true. It is an expensive brush, so the more I get out of it, the better. You know, exactly. Using my materials to the fullest. You know, that's 
what I try to do. Okay, let's see. Let's see. What can we do now, folks? What can we do now? I think we I think we hit this part over here, kind of separate this from everything else that's going on. Um, I still need the big brush, unfortunately. <laughs> I still need this big brush. So I don't want to get too carried away in what's really there. You know, it's kind of just a pile of jumble of stuff. So I'm just, I want to kind of treat it as shapes. Uh, uh, let's see. So we're just get a dark, just gonna get a dark mixture and then I'll put some uh, saturation into it once I, but this is, this is kind of a test for the darks actually. I'm kind of pushing the value now. So I'm gonna see what kind of comes about from this. Like I said, I can throw in some really saturated color in there, see what happens. It's probably hard for you guys to see that because it's so dark, but it's like a lizard and crimson in there. Um, I can kind of counteract that with some Viridian. Yes, I'm very close to 500k subs. I only got about another month, less than a month, and I'll hit half a million. So very exciting, I guess. I guess it's exciting, I don't know. I mean, it is cool. I mean, I'm not saying it's not cool, but it's definitely cool, definitely exciting. Thanks for the uh, kind words, JSA Drawing. I appreciate that. You're always very appreciative. It's appreciative. I appreciate that a lot. Um, yeah, Silver Chariot, actually, I'm, I'm planning on doing... Actually, I just filmed a video before this live stream, so I do have more things coming. just takes time. I got major changes coming this next year for this channel, so... We got we got some things happening. We got we definitely got some things happening. Like I said, I'm just kind of painting shapes, you know, I'm just like Trying not to get too concerned with what's really there. Okay. Hmm. Kind of distracting. That's a lot of uh, lizard and crimson there. See if I can tone that down at all. But it's okay. We're gonna have some other red and bright areas. I can push the viridian a bit in some areas as well. So it's not a big deal. Um, let's move to a smaller brush, I guess. But I still want to be able to. I still want to get some things done here. I really would like to. Let's just. Mix these together. <laughs> I mean, I watched it. I watched tutorials, so you know, I used to watch tutorials all the time, and I didn't give up easily. 
I just needed to learn how to some techniques and stuff. That was more for like oil painting when I did oil painting. Yeah, I know it's starting to be darker under here. You're right. I know. Getting there. Getting there. We're slowly getting there. It needs to be darker under this tarp too. Um, and maybe under this tarp. You're right. You know, I'm getting there. But I probably could do this main tarp because it doesn't really uh, affect anything else, really. It's kind of separate from everything else. So I can put some of the dark, more of the darks in this tarp. But I also have it very bright. It's actually not that bright in real life. It's more like that. I just kind of bumped it up so you guys could see what I was doing over here. It was very dark. So we're getting some good uh, good values in here now. There's just some cross beams and stuff. I'm suggesting a little bit of some of this line work. pretty cool that looks really cool I think but you can see how we need some more darks and definition on that top tarp you know um, <clears throat> I'm doing well today how are you doing edits 60 frame per second what's happening it's all good silver chariot no worries <clears throat> I understand. Man, I feel so it feels so stifling using this uh smaller brush. I don't feel free. Let's try to, it's gonna add some more shades to this tarp. Let's see, let's see what we can do here. Just try to suggest some wrinkles and stuff. trying to be pretty bold with what I'm doing here. Oh 
Oh boy, slowly making our way through this one, folks. We're an hour and 15 minutes in. All right, doing pretty well though. I think I think it's it's coming it's coming together well. It's it's coming together better than I thought it would. I'm definitely getting a light effect, so we just got to keep going. Just got to keep going. One thing I really want to do, I want to put in some saturated color. So like... This little thing right there, that's just pure red. It's probably hard to see that, but I'm going to do another one over here, I think. There's kind of this... Bit of dry brushing there. See if you guys can see that. So we got some texture and stuff happening. And it looks like it comes out like this. It comes down. And there's like these little little like ornamental kind of designs and stuff. No, I don't have a couple of watercolors going at the same time. Uh, it depends on how hot it is in your in your house, actually. <laughs> you know, if it's warmer, it'll dry a lot quicker. You know, one thing you can do is just, you can use a hair dryer to dry it, or you can use, I have, um, I don't have a hair dryer, actually, because, look at my hair, you know. So I just use this little fan, and you can just, you just dry it right up in a few minutes, you know. Because I'm, I'm pretty impatient when it comes to that as well, you know, especially when I do plain air and it's cold outside. I mean, it can take like 20 minutes to dry. And, and that's when I kind of, I almost paint in just one or two layers and I just try to make it count, you know. Like this one, I'm kind of building up the layers and being careful because I have time to just sit here and do it. But, yeah, just depends on... Uh, you know, I, I painted outside one evening, like last weekend, and it was very cold, a lot cooler outside, you know, like 55 degrees or something. It took like 20 minutes to dry. And the next day I painted in the sun, like at noon, very hot. It dried in like 20 seconds. You know, it, it all just depends. It just, it really depends where you're at and uh, what the weather is, you know, what the atmosphere is, there sun. Is there light on it? If you're in the shade, it's gonna take much longer to dry if it's cooler. So you gotta keep those things in mind when you're painting, but, and how much water you use. Obviously, if you use more water, it's gonna take longer. But generally, it doesn't take that long, you know? It's not that big a deal. You just have to be a little patient. So now I'm trying to start to get the idea of like some fruit here, right? It's pretty nice. I can do some. Oh, just dripped on the sky. tend to do that a lot. Oh well, it is what it is. So since this is in shadow, I'm gonna add like a little bit of Viridian in there just to tone it down. Yeah, I just don't want it, I don't want it to be too, too crazy of a red. Yeah, there's little, there's like little cups and things. 
see if I can get some thicker paint here. There's like all kinds of things happening here. So if you guys see what I did right here, I did I kind of did a little little trick. I'll show you if I can uh, get this to be a little more prominent. It's a bit dark. Don't need it that dark. But what I did, I put something half in light, half in shadow, right there. So it's kind of a small detail, but it's just showing the difference in uh, the warm versus cool of the object and the light. So it's just a little bit of an exaggeration. And I keep dripping water everywhere. So that little thing like that, I mean, could be pretty important to a painting like this one. No, I, I use M, M. Graham paints uh, only. Yeah, I don't have any Daniel Smith or anything. Just M. Graham, that's all I use. Um, so I thought about doing like something on the side of this cart. I feel like maybe I should. With like a lizard in the shadow. You know, we, that's what we could do. We could do a lizard in the shadow and then some cadmium red in the light. So that's something I can try. Let's see. Let's see if we can like make it look cool without overdoing it. Worst case scenario, it looks stupid, but when we just paint over it, soften a bit like I said earlier I really don't know what I'm doing we're just we're just experimenting here folks but see I think that really helps show like the temperature change That gives us the idea of a temperature change. And that's what I'm going for. Going for temperature change. Yeah, yeah, watercolor with uh, salt is pretty cool. I just don't have any salt, actually. Like, that's... I only have, like, big granule, like, really big crystals of salt that I grind myself, so... I can't really use that method. It'd be very weird looking. I'm not really sure what to do with this. I feel like we need something on the cart there. Um, I'm afraid to use the same kind of red again. Because I don't want it to look too similar. 
but I think maybe it needs just another wash maybe over over it. Just to tone that down a bit. I don't know, maybe not, maybe. Yeah, I think that helped. I think that helped actually. At the end I'm gonna add some line work. We'll be this will that line work will really help bring this together, I think. We'll add like a soft shadow there. Something like that. Oh, once I put these wheels on and get these figures, I think that's the next steps or like the wheels and the figures. Boom, then the rest will kind of, it'll all come together. You know, these will do a little bit for the background and then it won't even be that big of a deal, you know. Um, you know, I can still push the... Viridian on this background tarp, maybe in the front here a bit. But let's do the let's do the figures, I guess, since they're pretty straightforward. The wheels are going to be the challenging thing because, like, getting those curves right, oh, it's going to look so stupid. I <laughs> let's try to be positive. Hopefully, it won't. But I know it's so easy to make it look stupid. You know, I can very easily make it look really dumb. So I got to be careful. Did you guys, be honest, did you guys think it was going to look this good at this point? Like, like from if you were here at the beginning, I think everybody was kind of like, oh, this is not going to be, this is not going to turn out well. Because that's what I was thinking. I was thinking, this is not, there's no way this thing is going to turn out well. This is going to be a disaster. But when you see all these different little nuances of things happening, it's it's going pretty well, I think. It's going all right. We're making I'm making progress here. I think this is a bit too dark, possibly. Some of this. Maybe it needs to be soft. Soften some of this. Just mixing up color for this figure, for this shadow. It's just a Lizarin with uh, Viridian. You know, you don't really have, I don't really have much choice, <laughs> obviously.
Peace, understanding, and watercolor, please. Exactly. I agree. I definitely agree. All right. Looks like we just need maybe push this figure a little bit more in some areas. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, great white north. I do. I usually do watercolor, and then the next day I'll do pen and ink, and then I'll do watercolor again. I alternate, so that's how it works. Thanks, I appreciate it. I'm only using uh, for anybody that's that's new, that just now tuning in. So earlier I rolled like random dice of three numbers, and uh, we got two, four, and seven. And uh, so that's the colors I'm using here, two, four, and seven, cadmium red, viridian, and alizarin crimson, just for everybody tuning in. So that's why it looks so weird and we have this kind of interesting harmony going on. Uh, you know, we're just using those, uh, <clears throat> yeah, I thought about doing pen and ink with watercolor before. Um, People have mentioned me mentioned to me to try that one. I just haven't gotten to that idea yet because <laughs> I, I just like watercolor by itself so much. But I might do some architecture or something eventually with that. Kind of like an urban sketcher type thing, urban sketching. Okay, we got to do the wheels. Um, I got to do the wheels here. And I think this brush might be too big but the other brush is too small, so we're gonna have to go with this one. We'll just try it out. Tomorrow won't be watercolor. Tomorrow will be pen and ink, I think is what you meant. There you go. Yeah, you said it, actually. I see it. <laughs> I just now saw it. Uh... Okay. <sighs> well, I think I'm, de I'm definitely going to add some words to the <laughs> Nightbot block list. <laughs> I think. <laughs> Do I play any instruments? I mean, not like officially, you know. I, I mess around with piano every once in a while and guitar. I mean, I make music. Actually, for anybody, actually, I haven't said it this time. So for anybody, uh, be sure to check out my website, shaferfineart.com. I got drawings like these. You see all these on the live streams that I do. I also have paintings on there you can check out. Um, all of it's for sale, so definitely check that out. I also have a support page on my website where you can donate to me if you like the streams, you want to support me, support my channel. Um, you can also check out my band camp where I have instrumentals that I make, uh, stuff like that. Um, but also other ways to support me on there. You can also join and become a member on YouTube as well. I think it's like $1.99 a month or $2.99 a month. Just a way to support me, that's all. Nothing you don't really get. I don't really have any perks at the moment. To offer but it's just a way to support me if you feel like you know you're into that kind of thing and you're able to do that then I greatly appreciate it if not it's all good you know I appreciate you hanging out here and just tuning in and commenting watching the videos 
supporting me that way. It helps me too. So greatly appreciate it. But uh, anyway, what was I going to do with this red? Oh yeah, I was going to do the tires, the wheels, I guess. Not really tires, but uh, okay. It's one ninety nine plus tax. Okay, didn't realize that. So there's a tax of like, what's the tax? Like eight cents or something? Or, you know, I don't know. It's only $2, so the tax is gonna be like, what, 16 cents or something? But I know people in different countries, I know it's a big bigger deal, but. Okay, so let's try to, I'm, I'm still gonna map out these tires as if I'm drawing them. So I know I want the edge of them to be here. It comes up. Like I said, I want to be. I got to be careful here because it can look really stupid really quickly. Try to find a center point, I guess. Something like that. Let's try to get this paint a little bit thicker. For this other tire. Well, it's all good. It's all good. No worries. Wow, someone is not. Uh, <laughs> someone from Pakistan is not. Uh, Dude, you're not doing a service to your country. You're making you're making it seem like everybody from Pakistan's annoying, which I know they're not. It's you that's annoying, but you're not being a, a very good representative of your your country, bro. So chill out. I know it's probably some like 12 year old just typing. You know what I mean? Like, but. It happens, you get kids in the chat. Somebody, somebody's being a little loose with their parental controls. I think it's past your bedtime, dude. I think it's time to get to bed. <laughs> uh. And don't worry, you can come back with all kinds of accounts and we'll block all of them. So keep going, keep wasting your time. Okay, I'm gonna try to do some dry brushing here. I might need, eh, I can't mix any white into this, I guess, huh? Thought I was gonna, I might need to mix white into this red, but I can't do that because I can't use white. Although is white a color? I mean, white's technically not a color, right? So I could use it, but it's kind of cheating if I do that, right? Yeah, this wheel looks a little lopsided. Oh well, I knew it was gonna happen. I knew these wheels, it's hard to make these wheels look good. But I tried. Try my best. It looks very dumb, but eh, it doesn't look that bad, I guess. White is a color. All right, all right. White is still a color. No, it's not, dude. It's the absence of all color. Because if it's not, then you can't see it. All right, all right. Fine bunch of scientists out there telling me white's a color. All right. <laughs> I don't even care. I'll mix white into it if I want. How about that? Okay. Um, I want to see, maybe I can get some thicker paint on this. Yeah, it's still not going to matter. It's not getting any brighter. Okay, well, one thing I can do, possibly, I 
can make a darker color to kind of accent the wheels to make them pop out a little bit. I'm going to try it anyway. Um, because they're they kind of look flat. I mean, it's going to be difficult. They are going to look flat anyway, you know. But I think the ones right up on the top here, I can give them, I can make them a little bit darker so that it looks like there's just a bit of shadowing on these ones. Probably hard for you guys to see that, but in real life you can s see it a lot easier. But. Okay. Um. Wow, almost two hours on this one. I think we got to call this one done soon, guys. Um. You know, I think we just deal with this this nonsense and be done. So let's do it. Let's just let's get it going. So looks like there's like a bit of, oh, it's kind of dark. It's a little dark. There's just some. I forgot, there's one other dark shape here that I missed. Just a little bit. Yeah, I need to do some more darks and more like, we'll do some line work, I think, to really bring this thing together. Sorry, I got sidetracked from this part over here. So I'm just kind of, I'm just going to make up whatever's back here, you know, just a little bit of shapes and stuff, but nothing too crazy. And there's, this is all in shadow underneath here, so I'll do something like that. Connect it to this shadow overall. Soften it. Bring out the big brush one more, one last time. Hopefully, gonna glaze this down a bit darker, just so that it kind of sits in the background. Maybe even go darker still. So I want this cart to pop forward, actually. So if I can get this to be. Darker than the cart. That would be nice. I 
we don't really need to know what it is. You know. Yeah, it didn't really work, but oh well, it's okay for now. We can let it dry and then we can deal with it later. Uh, connect this stuff in the background to that cart. Yeah, this area kind of disappoints me, but you know, um, the only thing I can really do is do some try to do some line work, and we'll kind of we can pop the card out with some dark line work, um, just a bit. Hopefully, try to dry brush. Try to dry brush a bit. I don't know if I'll be able to do it. But, you know, just kind of, because really the outlines are, are light on this cart, but I don't have light colors to use, so we'll just, we'll try to give, just a bit of line work here. Probably too too rigid and stuff, but it's okay. It's okay for now. Get rid of some of that line. It's did a little too much there. Yeah, I'm not trying to outline things. It's just giving it a little bit of shape. A little bit of shape there. Um, that's all I was trying to do with that. Okay, um, hmm, anything else I'm missing? Anything? You know, it looks pretty good, I think. I mean, I've been on here long enough, so I think, you know, I don't know what more I could do with this. You know, we'll add some shadows to this stuff.
think that helped that area a bit more. More light back there. Yeah, I don't really do um, figures, really. But these were easy because they were just close. <coughs> oh, excuse me, folks. Well, there we go. There's the uh, three random three-color challenge. I mean, I think it came out pretty well. Does it look like a sunny day? I mean, kind of. You know, it'd be nice if there was like a blue, nice blue sky or something. But, you know, I still got the values right, I think. Um, you know, I think this light effect's really nice. Um, I'm not really f f a fan of this part. I wish I would have left it a bit more open and light against that cart, you know? But what are you going to do? You know, I got some light back here, so that's pretty nice. Um, nice little details and stuff or details, suggestion of details. Um, I guess I could add just very, very little. Very, very, very little. Uh... I'm gonna take the tape off soon. That's when the magic happens. But I think we just need a little bit more color here on this part, like a, a lizard, a bit of a cooler red. Because we have some over here, it's really nice. Maybe I can strengthen that a bit. So I think we kind of lost that when I really softened it. One thing I could do, I'm going to try it. We can put some stronger cadmium red right here. Just a little. We'll try it. just to boost up the color a bit. I think that's pretty cool. Oh, uh, here, I'll show you the list of colors. So, I rolled three random numbers, and I got a two, four, and a seven. So I got cadmium red, viridian, and alizarin crimson. So that's the colors I was using. Cadmium red, viridian, alizarin crimson. For anybody who was wondering, that's what this painting is only. Only those colors. There's no black, there's no white, there's no anything. Just those three colors mixed together in different, differ, differing amounts. But this painting took a little too long, but I kind of knew with the subject matter that it was going to take that long. I knew it was going to be a little bit longer, but we're almost at two hours here, folks, so and that's usually my limit with these things. You know, you guys are great and all, but, you know, I can't stand you guys for more than two hours. <laughs> more than two hours. I'm kidding, but no. You know, I, I try not to make these streams, like, super long. You know, people like to watch the replay and stuff. But there we go. I think that's pretty good. I think this is a pretty cool painting. I mean, it really looks like she's, like, picking stuff off. You know, actually, I forgot to make her head very dark. I think I'm going to do that because I think that'll actually focus more attention on the figures, too. Because she has, like, a different head cover, head scarf on than what she's wearing, so I'm going to push it a little bit and get a very dark color. Let's see what that will look like. I mean, see what that'll look like. I mean, I have no choice once it goes down. It's pretty much, pretty much chose to do it. There we go. It's pretty dark. I might lighten it up slightly.
just to give it a little more atmosphere. You know, if you make stuff too dark, it just looks flat, looks uh, unrealistic. And there's a lot of reflected light here, so we'll lighten it up slightly. There we go. It's not bad. Yeah, you can have some. Of, I can have some of it being very dark, but there we go. Just looks a little more realistic there. We can kind of blend part, soften part of it into the rest. Okay. There we go. Pretty happy with this one. If I do say so myself. But, um, there we go. I'm kind of missing a person inside the cart, like up here. I could try to put someone's head right there. Would that be weird? Or could I do it? Um, yeah, only if the sky was blue. I mean, yeah, you're right. I mean, the colors make it very weird, but... All right, see you. See you another time. Appreciate it. Um, that'll be weird if I put a guy in the cart. Yeah, okay. Fair enough. <laughs> okay, I'll leave it. I'll leave. I trust you guys. All right, I'll leave it. You're right. You're right. We'll call this one done. We'll call this one done. But anyway, um, see if you guys look at the reference. There's a guy like standing up in there. Because he's, sell, he's selling stuff. But I get what you're saying. It'll just be like a weird floating head. But anyway, be sure to check out my website, folks. I got a lot of other art on there to check out. I got watercolors and drawings and stuff. I got blog posts, all kinds of stuff. Uh, also a support page. Like I said, you can support me on there. Whatever floats your boat. Or just check out my music on my band camp. Greatly appreciate it. But uh, also, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Uh, would greatly appreciate that. I always forget to say this till the very end, but yeah, be sure to like, share, and subscribe to help me, you know, support the channel. But I'll show you guys real quickly what this looks like. A little different, you know, a little far away. So that might be what it looks like on the wall or something, hanging up on your wall, you know. Um, so I think I'm pretty happy with this one. So anyway, folks. Um, I think I'm going to get off of here, and uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. If you want to know what I'm doing tomorrow, go check out your subscriptions page, and uh, it'll already be scheduled for tomorrow, so you guys will be able to see what it is that I'm doing. It's going to be a pen and ink. I can't even remember. So just go check out your subscriptions page, and uh, you'll see what, what we're doing tomorrow, and I'll see you there. So uh, peace.